That was gonna be our first run, but it might have been our last because this thing doesn't sound right. stickers and the car goes wonky what happened sir <laughs> well i think it we flashed we flashed it back to stock and it didn't like it this car doesn't like stock maybe this car wants to go fast only you heard it here we'll find out hopefully it's actually not a problem we'll see what happens i, I don't think it's a problem all right what's going on well uh we are back on track now that i have my guy here so saw what happened before we are going to load up because we have some stuff we got to take care of yeah uh, we're gonna go do something right now. It's gonna be cool. I hope, I hope it's gonna be cool. I we'll hope find it's out. It's gonna be cool. We'll talk about it more on the way. Hey, do you have the thing that we need? The D, the D, G, Y. You're good. Straight on a little bit that way. Come up, and then you need to go a little bit that way, actually. Let's get him back here so we can stand up and not be crazy. Okay, straight in. It's not hooked up to the truck, see? That is what, we're just showing you guys the thing that could happen. Don't do that, right? No, it's my fault because I forgot to lock it on. I brought the truck back. The person who drives no, the truck I last. Huh? I hooked it up, babe. You didn't hook it up. I, I don't care. Perfect. That way. More that way. You're going to pop the tire. I know, but I'm just saying you have more room on this side. Stop. Yay. Look at that. It's been a while since I had to guide him onto a flatbed. It's like blast from the past. Did it feel weird driving up onto that? It's like, where are the walls, right? Where am I? We traveled back in time. Here you go. All right, so here's what's going on. We're gonna go out and we're gonna do some dragging. We've tried this before. We couldn't find a good location. Uh, we were in the mountains. I don't know, it just didn't work out that great. We have flat land. We're going to stick the draggy on this thing. We're gonna get not only zero to 60s, but we're gonna get zero to 30 also. And part of the reason we're doing this is because, uh, we keep saying this, it, it, we were on our way to making something happen and then, you know, I don't have to explain it to you, you know what happened. Um, the whole world changed for a minute. So it feels like we're kind of getting back on track. So we're getting closer to making this happen, right? Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, get some zero to 60 some zero to 30 for kind of a benchmark uh, we're going to actually uh, to put the car back to stock tuned and then we're gonna tune it on the KMS 91 run it both give you those numbers uh, and then coming up those numbers are all gonna change because the car is gonna change uh, we have some bigger stuff coming we do what do you think I think let's do it. We had it. We're so. headed to an undisclosed location that we have access to um, and approval to ride in. That's where. Okay, so what we're doing is that we're going to do some 0 to 60s and some 0 to 30s. Uh, baseline numbers, here's why. Um, we've been talking about this for a while. We have a turbo, a, a, a newer, a new, a new, a different turbo. A different we've, big one. We've had it for a while. Maybe that's going to go in, maybe it's not. We're not sure yet. But what we are sure of, something's going to happen. Um, and just, you know, we just want to test out new tunes. We're happy with the car. It tunes well. But it's time to do something cool and fun. But we need a change because we've been staycationing and we need to show you guys something new, right? Aren't you guys wanting something new? So, uh, that's what we're doing. We're going to do some stuff for you guys. So you have some numbers, some baselines, some comparisons, I guess is what we'd say. Yep. So real quick, I'm going to pop up some comments right here. These are funny. Actually, kind of. We fun. actually do laugh at it. I mean, yeah. and not like we laugh at your guys. We love talking to everybody. And we welcome all comments. But sometimes people get a little bit heated and crazy, and they, that's what he's gonna post up right now. Yeah, this person was just on attack. This is like more of a personal thing, or something. I got to 
doesn't like me or something, whatever, it doesn't matter, we, we're not really concerned. I, I took a couple of seconds and got over it. So, here's what's ha happening. These comments, check these out. Here, I'm gonna pop up a couple, you can read them while I'm talking about this. So, and we've had other people say stuff, like, we think the car is fast. It's a 91 tune. We, pop gas. We, we, yeah, pop gas. We never ever said we thought it was anything other than number, the numbers. We put it on the dyno, we showed you the dyno numbers, we lined it up against this car right here, I'll show you this video right here, the very, this is the very first time out with this car. And somebody said that it, we didn't run it against Evo cars or equal tunes. All the tunes wow. we've run against are more than equal. They're they're faster tunes. They're they're more money. They're more they're I, they're I don't, more I, money definitely. They're more. I mean, a lot of them are running on. We got some race fuel going on in some of these, and we lose, right? I mean, well, that's the thing. None of them are equal tunes. That's correct. To our to their to their advantage, not right. two hours. Right. So that's a that was a silly comment. But anyway, um, we have ran against the Evo Stage Five on E85. We run against the 4WR. I. The 3R. We've run against every stage from like Stage Two Evo up since we've had our two. That's just yeah. been, and that's because that's what we were what we have around us. So anyway, the video that we show, all of them that we've shown. We actually lost the races, and we've shown that every single time. I, honestly, I, we must admit, the response factor that we have gained in trip, our car, um, with our tune, the clutching is in line. It's dialed, and uh, so we pull on the line a lot of the times, and if you stop your, if you stop right then because you're so mad. Well, nobody's watching that. Nobody's just watching that. Well, I mean, then, then what is the deal? I don't even understand. It doesn't make any sense. There's, there's, no, there's no rationalizing the comments. They're just whatever. Yeah, they you read them. They're right here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we—it's not that big a deal. We just—we're gonna show you. We don't think it's fast. This is what it is. It's not that fast. Faster it's not that stock. stuff. We're gonna compare it right now. Uh, stock to what? It, to the ninety-one two. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you something. It is faster than stock. Definitely, the numbers will show that. Yeah, we don't care. I have no desire to set the bottom up of Old Hill, Comp Hill, any of the hills and just drag race up and down the hill over and over. Boring. That's the most, yeah, this can be any more boring than that. We'll go over the top of Olds, over the top and down the hill to the big bulls we go. That's our song. Yeah. Anyway, so we don't care about setting up the bottom of run and running up the hill over and over. We'll do it a couple times just to see where we stand and then we're off. If we lose, we lose. We don't care. It's not a big deal. Anyway, but... We're gonna not lose as much because we're gonna change the car. That's where we're at. Yeah. Here's the baseline right here. Here we go. All right, so what's going on? Like we said, we're gonna do some zero to 60s. Here we are. Out on some private property, private road. And we're gonna do this thing. As soon as we unload the car. Take off the 91 and just go stock. Well, 91 is just you know for the fuel, right? It'll still be 91. We're gonna take off the KMS, they call 91 because everybody gives us crap when we right. say 91. We're gonna take off the um, the 91 KMS tune, right? The, I what uh, called. what's it called? The 91 Spencer. octane power package, yes. So we still have the clutching, obviously. We'll still have uh, uh, we have a, a fuel, we have an 18 valve. fuel pump. Do yeah, we? we have yeah. that. Yeah, so we'll have all that. We just won't have the tune. 
So come over here and we'll see if we can find the treasure. Let's check it out. I don't remember how to get to it. Data logging. Nope. No. <laughs> I data logged. What does that mean? Want me to pull the instructions? Uh, no, I think we got it. I've done it a few times. It's this center guy. We go to Flash, Flash Tunes. And then we're going to go to... We're obviously on the 91 KMS. Right. We're going to go back to stock. How long does it take to click in? Well, can, you know what I'm worried about is it's going to turn off. What do you mean? The car's going to turn off. Oh. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Flash tune. Initializing. Verifying. Erasing. Oh, God, I hate that word. How much erasing is happening? We're at 17%. Can't go back now. Oh, yeah. Small crawler. All right, so it looks like this is going to take a minute. We're on 6%. We're flashing it back to stock. What do you think? Stock. Stock. Stock doesn't rock. Why would we ever do that? Because stock sucks. We're flashing it back to stock. Now, now a 2020 RR will beat us. Uh oh. I mean, it probably would be in the ball park of beating us anyway, but for sure it will now. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to see what the numbers are. We're going to run this guy right here. Look at this. What is this? All right, we'll be back. Flashed. Did it? How do you know? Is it slow? Uh, because the top went up and it was a flash. <laughs> oh, well, I missed that. Dang it. Yeah, I missed that. It, it got to a hundred percent. It got to a hundred percent. Said turn the key on and off, and I did, and bam. So let's see. Oh, look at that. So maybe without that flash, uh, it doesn't read all the stuff because it's not reading boost or any of this or any of the information. So we'll see. All right. Drive so, it like you stole it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to run this thing and we're going to do some dragging. We'll be right back. There's that guy doing bad stuff in the dirt, making dust. Hello. What was that like? Not good. Not good? What was it? Uh, it blew up the motor. It blew up the motor? Something. Something let go. Could it have just been a belt? I don't know. We're going to find out again. Let's I wonder if our uh, times got verified though. Did they? Valid. Valid times. That's all that really matters. How many? What was it? Looks like we only got zero to 30 because... Um, I don't know, I saw 61 on the speedometer, but maybe we're, we weren't quite there yet. That was going to be our first run, but it might have been our last because this thing doesn't sound right. It doesn't, huh? So a uh, stock tune good. is not the business? Yeah. So I think we got a problem. It sounds like it's running on three cylinders. Two three cylinders. It's already three cylinders. It sounds like it's running on two cylinders. Oh, well, let's check it out. What do we got to do? Push it? I'm going to fire it up and um, let everybody hear what it sounds like. Does it, I didn't, I couldn't tell a difference, but you were driving slow on the way back in. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I don't know what happened. I don't see smoke. I don't smell anything. I mean, does that mean anything? No. Nope. All right, we'll be back. Uh, let me see. Let me see if there's any leaky or anything. Let me check. Did I see anything wrong down here? Uh oh. Well, that's no good. 
Um, Record. I'm recording. Yeah, so we got check engine light on. Check it out. Can you data log something and see? Will it tell you anything on that thing or no? Well, I don't think it's working. Oh, I hear it. I, I hear it. Yeah. We're going to put it on the trailer and uh, I guess we're going to... The next video is going to be repairing the Canam. Apparently. We're going to see if we can get a code out of this thing and see what happens. Oh, yeah, a code. At least we're at the right place. You win some, you lose some, huh? Let's see what happened. So. Alright, so we're going to look at codes right now. Hold on a second here. Let's see what's going on. So we got check engine light. Flashed, it flashed on, it didn't stay on. I'm going to see if I can get a code out of this guy. Let's do it. You're gonna and it sounds one. like it's uh, misfiring. Not it's sure only it's running on three cylinders. <laughs> yeah. It's only running on three cylinders. Darn. So we're going to see what we got. Do, 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 do. Alright, diagnostics. Oh yeah, that sounds promising. Active <laughs> codes. There were no act there were no active, oh. but there's a P zero three oh one. Okay. So uh we need to go um what is P zero three zero one? We're gonna find out right now. But active codes. I didn't get here until five. Like five Historic code. P0301. We're going to look up code. We'll be right back. Okay. Is coil unplugged? Yeah. Check your connections on your coil unplugs and whatnot right there. That's common on these. Because that thing just went, I just heard it drop a cylinder. It went bloop. Yeah. Well, it either dropped it that because. That sounded like cylinder number one. It either dropped it because me. of spark ignition. I think it's one. I think it's, I think it's number one. Okay. Number or two. compression. <laughs> you don't want it to be compression. It's spark. But Thing is, I don't think it's compression because as soon as you lost the gas, the motor's running on cylinders. Yeah. So it's either spark or fuel. Both spark and fuel are con controlled by your tune. That's got there. All right. All right. We're so, gonna we're gonna flash it back in case something went wrong when we flashed it. All right. What he means is, uh, we seem like that possibly something has gone awry now during the tune D detuning process. Doing. Take a look. We're gonna flash it back and hope for the best. What's the word, bird? Though why? Well, we got a misfire on cylinder one. Mm -hmm. We just flashed it. It's, we've never had an issue before. The only thing we did different was flash it back to stock. So just in case something went wrong, I don't know what could have wrong, went wrong. What's the difference? So, but stock was, now we have a bigger fuel pump running on stock. Does that affect anything? Uh, it shouldn't, no. But we're we going to flash know. it back. We'll see. Okay, let's check it out. There's a lot of variables. I'm not going to. Here we go. There. Do it. Is it flashing? It's flashing. Let me see. It's a racing. We don't like that word. So that's what's up. Uh, Brandy Hoover here, uh, live with uh, Darren Hoover from Dandy Off Road. We seem to have had some type of a technical difficulties with the vehicle, um, this blacked out car. Probably you remove the stickers and the car goes wonky. What happened, sir? <laughs> well, I think it, we, flashed, we flashed it back to stock and it didn't like it. This car doesn't like stock, maybe. This car wants to go fast only. You heard it here. We'll find out. Hopefully, it's actually not a problem. We'll see what happens. I, I don't think it's a problem. We'll see what happens. I think it was a fluke. If that doesn't work, then what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the connectors on the spark on the coils. We're going to look at uh, fuel stuff like that. Well, you know, we're here at a, a legitimate shop with some dudes that know some stuff. You know some stuff too. We have some uh, tools accessible, so it's better. What better place to break down? Right. Right. Don't mess it up this time. Here we go. Let's see if it runs. And if it runs okay. It was running. It just it kept misfiring. Okay. Okay. Buckle up for safety. Would you be able to tell yet or no?
good. It's That's no not, good. It's no good. It's no good. Just as soon as it went up on the pipe, it dropped. Yeah. It's no good. The dogs oh, say no. Alright. So we're gonna take a look at a couple we're gonna take a look at a couple of things and we'll be right back. Alright. What's the prognosis, doctors? Oh, so uh there's a little bit of uh cloggish. This? There's a little bit of sand in this. Like How'd that, that get in there? All, the, all that sand that's down there on the dirt came out of that. How'd that get in there, sir? I don't know. Is I somebody, do have an um, air nozzle that we can go from the inside out. That's yep. what I think. I have one of those long ones. Mm -hmm. You do? Alright, we're going to go blow this out. Oh. We're going to see how much uh, air is actually in this. The sand is? Air. Oh, air. Not much air. Look at that. And this is happening because this is the way things get done around here. So let's do it. Um, Who's hold that? I'm going to stand back here. For... There we go. <laughs> it's going to take a minute for it to warm up. Here we are, All right. easily installing the uh, cover over the air filter in the Canam. I mean, Check. like yeah, we have no hope that that's going to fix it. But here we but go. But if it does, that's yep. ama that's amazing. We need to actually we need to actually get to the um, coil wire coil wire on cylinder one. Okay, how do you uh, do that? We got to take a bunch of stuff off, and I'm not doing it right now. Well, that's okay. So Let's, that might be. Could be the end of the video here in a minute. We'll see. We're gonna fire it up one more time. Okay. Just Chest it out. Did you want? Oh, wait. Hold on. New development. Okay, new development. Now we actually have a check engine light. Uh oh. Oh, what's the code? Current codes. Diagnostics, yeah. That's that's device tools then. That was the wrong one. Tools. Diagnostics. That's a Current codes. No active code? No. What's the historic code? Same one. P0301? Yeah. Okay. So I think we're done. Family. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We have to take this thing back to the house and it's a weeknight. It's I late. Broke it. Yeah, we're not getting we're not getting zero to sixties. It was a fail. No, okay. It was we got a zero to thirty, we're gonna put it up, whatever it was, right? We're done for today stop it so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do just click the subscribe button while you're here why don't you click the notification bell so that you can get notified when we post the new videos because there's a lot of stuff coming out we still have the giveaway going on i'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can enter to win the ox beam led headlights that we installed in boosty the videos down there along with the official rules and that's happening pretty quick um thank you guys we appreciate you patreon links below so if you want to be part of the cool kids club do that um, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff, and join the Facebook group so we can see what's going on with you. And I think that's it. So, peace. Peace. Oh. Peace out. Bye. So, no zero to 60s. No zero to 60s. You got a zero to 30? We got a zero to Bam. 30. We'll see what it looks like. Well, and you know, uh, maybe this is a good thing because we can work on it in our garage uh, before we go on our next trip and it didn't break in the sand. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>